Jamestown Blue Jays basketball is brought to you by Jamestown Regional Medical Center, Hillerood Construction, SMP Health Ave Maria, Gun and Real Sports, and Originals. And by Creative Energy Superstop, Dakota Central, Hugo's Family Marketplace, Otter Tail Power Company, Professional Eye Care, Frontier Fort Grill, Unison Bank, Essentia Health, Farmers Union Insurance, Steve Benyon Agent, Jamestown Country Club, Apex Physical Therapy, Jamestown Parks and Recreation, and Johnny B's Brick House. Now, Jamestown Blue Jays basketball. There have been so many chances for the Jamestown Blue Jays to not only make their way into the WDA tournament, but to get out of playing the game they do have to play today. There was one more chance on Tuesday night in Dickinson. The Blue Jays were on the road. As it turned out, they needed a win of six points in completing the season sweep. It didn't quite happen. It was a three-point victory. Boy, Anderson Young certainly tried, but the game's last shot nearly made a three-pointer that would have avoided this game today. But the Blue Jays have had to make another long trip to Williston to meet a Coyote team that has just given them a whole lot of frustration late in the year. It's the main reason the Blue Jays are having to play the extra game. They had two losses to Williston in a span of six days. They originally would have gone to Williston last month, but that's when the bitterly cold weather happened. They lost by four in Williston on the 10th of February, and then last Friday night at the Civic Center lost by Three. And again, couldn't quite up come up with the margin they needed to win in Dickinson on Tuesday. So they've made the trip again today. This is the WDA girls play-in game as the Jamestown Blue Jays are set to meet the Williston Coyotes. Good afternoon to you from the I3G Media Jamestown Broadcast Center. I'm David Burrell. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we will bring you today's action thanks to our friends at Keys, K-E-Y-Z 660 News Radio in Williston, and Mike Ruda will bring you the play-by-play today. He is the voice of the Williston Coyotes and Williston State College. Well, it's been a very trying year for a Blue Jay team that, after Andy Scunberg had eight seniors a year ago, doesn't have any this year, and it's been difficult on a team that goes no taller than 5'10", Leah Trumbauer, and they've had rough nights a lot of the time. The shooting has been most difficult. They are back at full strength this evening. Mia Ulin had uh, to be charitable about a little bit of the, <laughs> the crud on Tuesday night. Didn't go out to Dickinson, but uh, without her, the Blue Jays were able to win. But Mia will be back in uh, the Blue Jays lineup this evening. And late this afternoon, it is in the game against Williston. Uh, Mia has not been too bad at all, shooting threes 34%, and she's hit 51 of them this season. She is the third leading scorer on the Blue Jays at 8.5 a a game. Addison Young, the freshman, well, had another big game against Dickinson. In fact, Addie's best two scoring games in her freshman year, both against Dickinson. 25 points in the uh, victory last month at the Civic Center, 22 in the game on Tuesday night. She continues to be one of the very best foul shooters there is at 85% for this season. What about this Williston team? Well, they're in kind of the same boat as uh, the Jays, a a relatively young team, but uh, they do have Micah Fleck, who has uh, come up with uh, two pretty good games against the uh, Jays, especially the one last Friday when she had 18. They have uh, Avery Ostrom. So uh, the Blue Jays uh, and Williston, Expected to be a tight one. The first two games that were, as we said, three, well, four point three point Williston victories. In fact, this is a double header in Williston because the Coyote boys are also hosting the WDA boys play-in game against St. Mary's, who broke their long losing streak with a victory over Mandan. But that is later. The girls play first tip-off set for around twenty-three minutes or so from now out in Williston, and we will have it. For you. Coming up as our pregame continues, we'll look ahead to this Jamestown Williston matchup and explain what else is happening in Jamestown basketball. The boys coming up with a victory, but they may go a little bit short handed, in fact, quite a bit short handed into their WDA tournament play. 
More on all that coming up. Glad you're with us for Jamestown and Williston here on Jamestown 107.1, the Heritage Signal of I3G Media in Jamestown, 1400 AM and NewsDakota.com. More on our pregame coming up. This is the voice of the Blue Jays. What would life be like without telephones, internet, and digital cable? Ah! Let's not even go there. Dakota Central is proud to be the local company that provides you with these high-tech communication options. Whether it's the crystal clear telephone connection, the digital cable that produces over 150 channels, HD and DVR, or reliable high-speed internet. Dakota Central provides it all, serving Jamestown and Carrington and beyond. Call 952-1000, 652-3184, or see them on the web at dakotacentral.com. Otter Tail Power Company would like to remind you about the importance of high school athletics in the lives of children. Those extracurricular activities play a role in the education and development of those kids involved and provide a way for kids to learn some of life's most important lessons. Lessons that will take them through life with a sense of accomplishment and pride. Otter Tail Power Company would like to salute those athletes, coaches, and fans who make every season one to remember. You know you don't really want that hurry-up, bought-on-the-cheap, not-sure-what-I-got insurance coverage. Good, because Farmers Union Insurance Agents do things just a little different. We'll work with you personally for home, auto, business, or farm insurance and tailor the exact coverage plan you need because we're not satisfied until you are. Different? You bet. Farmers Union Insurance. Simply different. Good luck to the Blue Jays and Jimmies from your local Farmers Union agent, Steve Benyon. Not all products underwritten by Farmers Union Insurance. You love sports. So do we. You know, the thrill of victory and the agony of injury. Hey, injuries happen. Thankfully, JRMC Orthopedics is ready to act fast. As the official sports medicine team for Blue Jay Athletics, athletes and their fans can choose the home team for their care. Call 952-4878 for quick injury attention. Home Team Sports Medicine. It's right here at JRMC. Sign-on bonuses, $10,000 for full-time RNs or LPNs working PM or NOC shifts, and $10,000 for full-time NOC weekend package positions, and $5,000 for part-time PM shifts. Also offering $5,000 for full-time CNAs working PM shifts or weekend package day PM or NOC shifts. Dietary positions available also. Apply at smphealth.org slash Ave Maria. Two Rivers Activity Center in Jamestown is now hiring. Track has openings for several part-time positions. Track offers a flexible schedule. We will work with you to make a schedule that fits your busy lifestyle. Track also offers a fun work atmosphere, and every employee of JPRD receives an employee pass, which provides free green fees at Hillcrest Golf Course, complimentary open skate at the Winter Sports Building, and free daily admission into Two Rivers Activity Center. Learn more about our open positions and apply online today at trackjamestown.com. The Frontier Fort invites you in for a true Dakota Territory dining experience. This unique location looks like an authentic 1800s fort. Head upstairs and you'll be greeted with the mouth-watering aroma of freshly grilled ribeyes and barbecued ribs. They're open from 4 to 9 Monday through Saturday, and their legendary prime rib is served on Fridays and Saturdays. Now hiring a full-time or part-time cook, call 252-7492. The Frontier Fort, on the road to the Buffalo, Jamestown. Jamestown Blue Jays basketball and Jamestown 107.1 from Williston today. Blue Jays and the Williston Coyotes and the girls WDA play-in game. This very, very last chance for the Jays to make the WDA tournament. They go in with uh, a record of... uh, Two and 14 in conference. They finished in the three way tie for seventh with Dickinson and Williston, five and 16 overall. But again, it came down to that uh, second tiebreaker. The first is head to head, but that didn't decide anything. And again, how it worked out going into the game on Tuesday, which your friendly broadcaster here didn't quite <laughs> investigate uh, enough. But uh, please forgive me. 
We'll do better the next time. Anyway, Dickinson had uh, plus 12 in the point differential going into that game, and Jamestown a plus one with Williston in the negative. They already knew they were going to be in this playing game. So that's why the Blue Jays had to win by at least six points on Tuesday night. Turns out to be simple math, and I'm supposed to be good at math. Anyway, a six-point win, which they, again, nearly had on that Addie Young three try at the end of the game would have given them a plus seven and it would have dropped the uh, Dickinson team to a plus six and that would have put the Jays into the seventh seed but it didn't happen that way Minot went through the regular season unbeaten at 16 and 0 they're the one seed the second seed is Bismarck and the number three seed is is Legacy. They ended in a tie with Century, but Legacy wins that tie break. Century is the four seed. Then the five seed is Mandan. The six seed is St. Mary's. And uh, the number seven seed, Dickinson, with uh, the eighth and ninth seeds, Jamestown and Williston, playing shortly. The quarterfinal round of the West Region Girls Tournament is set for Thursday, and this will be at uh, the Bismarck event center and uh, remember if you're headed there uh, there are two areas of play so there'll be games concurrently going on they will start the girls play first we'll talk about the boys after the next break but the winner of this game today gets to take on those Minot Majels that is a two o'clock tip on Thursday afternoon then it is century the four seed at uh, taking on the five seed Mandan, that'll be at around three forty-five on Thursday. The two seed is Bismarck High. Dickinson, the number seven seed, meets the Demons. That's at five thirty, and then the Legacy Sabers, the three seed against the six seed Bismarck St. Mary's. That's at seven fifteen on Thursday. And uh, the two semifinal games will be played first next Friday at uh, two and around three forty-five. And then the loser out games will be played at 4.30 and 6.15. They'll switch courts uh, for those. So you really have to watch uh, uh, where you are in the Bismarck Event Center because he's going to be basketball all around in two uh, different places on Thursday. And you, you do uh, also, <laughs> potentially, if uh, uh, they can get there, of, of Jamestown playing in a couple of different courts. They do the loser out games first. First, for the boys, and then the semifinals. So it is uh, uh, split up that way. And again, we'll explain all of the boys' standings in just a bit as we continue to work our way toward a tip off in Williston as the Jamestown Blue Jays meet the Williston Coyotes. Glad you're with us on Jamestown 107.1. Our pregame continues next. This is Jamestown 107.1, and this is the voice of the Blue Jays. At Unison Bank, we provide financial solutions for customers to meet their needs today and achieve their dreams tomorrow. From personal banking services like checking accounts, mortgage, and auto loans, to business banking services. At Unison Bank, we offer financial solutions with prompt responses and quality service. Visit unisonbank.com for more information. Located in Jamestown, Linton, and Wishick, as well as Gilbert, Arizona. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hit the ground running. The pain brings me to my knees. Hip, hip, hooray. Foot pain, knee pain, hip pain. Oh my, have I got the solution for you. Apex Physical Therapy and Wellness Center is just the place to help you out with any orthopedic pains. So let us take the weight off your shoulders and get on over to Apex. They're the bee's knees. Call Apex about your joint pain today at 701-952-2739 to schedule your appointment today. Some of us were born to farm. Some diesels, like Cenex Premium Diesel, were born to fuel. Cenex Ruby Fieldmaster comes with a more complete additive package for a more complete burn to reduce particulate matter and keep filters cleaner for longer. Fuel your equipment like a pro with Cenex Ruby Fieldmaster and leave typical number two diesel to the amateurs. Cenex Premium Diesel, diesel that doesn't mess around. Johnny B's Brickhouse, famous for their pizza, but wait, there's pasta and their amazing wings and fresh ground hamburgers, tasty salads and appetizers too. 
And for dessert, you can't beat their sweet sticks. Come on out for Tuesday night trivia and live entertainment every Thursday night. The place to be is Johnny B's. Smack dab in the middle of Main Street, downtown Jamestown. And remember, for delivery and carryout, call 952-8777. Hey, it's Sean with the Jamestown Country Club. Remember to get your membership for the upcoming season at our 18-hole championship course that hosts the FCCU Labor Day Classic and we're the home course for the Blue Jays and Jimmies men's and ladies golf teams. The Jamestown Country Club hosts an excellent bar and restaurant that is open to the public and has the only outdoor pool in the area. Contact the Jamestown Country Club today for your membership. And congratulations to the Minnesota Twins' Joe Maurer on his election into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Need some custom screen-printed T-shirts? Lots of T-shirts? You need originals. Originals! Or do you just need one shirt with your corporate logo for the new guy? Originals! Caps, jackets, U-sizes, adult sizes, Blue Jay apparel, Jimmy apparel? You need originals. There you have it, folks. For custom-printed apparel, embroidery, and work apparel, it's originals. They can also do online stores for your sports team or business. 216 First Avenue, downtown Jamestown. Open 9 to 5 weekdays. Visit originals.com. Coming up on 449, Jamestown 107.1, late on this Friday afternoon. It's this Blue Jays basketball from Williston coming up in just a little bit. It's the Blue Jays and the Williston Coyotes in the WDA play-in game. We'll join uh, Mike Reuter from uh, Keys, K-E-Y-Z, 660 News Radio in just a little bit. Of course, the Jamestown boys already knew coming into uh, this week that they had the seventh seed in the WDA boys tournament and played a pretty good basketball game on Tuesday night, winning in Dickinson by a score of 83-79, to 79, although they uh, saw another one of their star players had to leave uh, the game. Ryan Larson uh, with uh, an ankle injury in the fourth quarter really came down awkwardly on that ankle. And we'll see whether he can be available or not for their first-round game, which is set for th- Tuesday against uh, the hottest team in North Dakota high school basketball, frankly, and that's Bismarck, outside of the Magels, I guess, of Minot girls. But Bismarck goes in with 14 straight wins after they started 2-5, and five, and they lost their first two games in the WDA. That still... Uh, was good enough to put them in the second seat behind Minot, who won the league at 15 and won in boys play. Bismarck 14 and 2. Then Century, the uh, number three seed, at 11 and 5. Mandan and Dickinson tied for fourth. Mandan is the four seed. Dickinson is the number five seed. Then Legacy, the number six seed. So it's Jamestown at the number seven seed after going five and 11 in the league. And Williston, as we say, hosting. Bismarck St. Mary's in the second play-in game uh, this evening in Williston as uh, the Coyotes host them both. The schedule for Thursday at the event center in the quarterfinal round. Minot will play the winner of today's Williston St. Mary's boys game in the first quarterfinal. That's scheduled for three. Then it is Mandan and Dickinson set for around 445. Then it's the Blue Jays against Bismarck and It was a rough time for Jamestown in both regular season games against Bismarck, two relatively easy wins for the Demons. It's a schedule for 6.30 tips, so we'll join you around 6 o'clock on Thursday here on Jamestown 107.1. And then it is Century and Legacy set to meet in the final quarterfinal game of the day. Then next Friday, the loser out games for the boys come first, as we said before, 1 o'clock and around 2.45 and then the semifinals at 5.30 and 7.15. Then the state qualifiers in the championship game are next Saturday. So that's what's ahead in boys play. And again, we know we'll join you from Bismarck around 6 o'clock on Thursday. The Jamestown girls would like us to be on earlier than that, too. Again, if they can defeat Williston today, they would play the very first game against Minot on Tuesday, with a or Thursday, that is, with a 2 o'clock tip but they've got a win today first to get to Bismarck they're in Williston today the Blue Jays and the Williston Coyotes and the girls WDA 
play-in game. And there's more of our pregame ahead for you on Jamestown 107.1. This is the voice of the Blue Jays. Looking for one of the best ATVs on the planet? Then check out Honda 4Trax Foreman. There are three models to choose from, and they all offer strong swing arm rear suspension that is perfect for hard work or towing. They all feature strong front and rear racks, plus a handy utility box for storage. So head to Gun Real Sports in First Street, West Downtown Jamestown, and check out the new Honda Foreman. For riders 16 and older, Honda recommends all ATV riders take training course and read the owner's manual thoroughly. How are you doing? Really? How are you doing? Are you taking the time to check in on you? A real check-in. Scheduling a wellness visit is an easy way to take care of yourself. At Essentia Health, we want to know how you're doing. We want to help. Whether it's face-to-face or a virtual appointment, the right care is waiting for you. We'll listen, assess how you are, and get you back on track. It's always good to check in. Care like nowhere else. Essentia Health. Schedule online at EssentiaHealth.org. Where do you find the friendliest staff, largest selection, lowest prices, and the freshest produce? Hugo's in Jamestown. But what if you can't go to the store? Hugo's Family Marketplace offers online shopping. You can shop all the departments and all the sales at GoHugo's.com. Choose pickup or Hugo's delivery service, and they'll do the in-store shopping for you. Hugo's Family Marketplace online shopping at GoHugo's.com. You're going to find more low prices, more great stuff when you go to Hugo's. Why choose professional eye care centers? Let me count the whys. First, there are now four great doctors to see. Dr. Frank, Dr. Freilich, Dr. Jangula, and now welcoming Dr. Bond. Next is their many locations. You can now see one of their spectacular doctors in Jamestown, Valley City, Carrington, Edgeley, Ellendale, and Lemoore. And finally, their fantastic frame selection. And yes, all of their frames and lenses are backed up by warranty. Visit ProEyeCareCenters.com and make an appointment today. Professional eye care centers, clearly the best. Building a business requires strength, courage, and a solid reputation. So, when you're ready to build a building to house your business or remodel your existing business, you want the same qualities in your commercial construction contractor. And that's where Hillaroot Construction comes in. Trusted, experienced builders who specialize in commercial building construction. Their experience saves you time, stress, and money. So visit hillaroodconstruction.com and let's get building. What would life be like without telephones, internet, and digital cable? Let's not even go there. Dakota Central is proud to be the local company that provides you with these high-tech communication options. Whether it's the crystal clear telephone connection, the digital okay. cable that produces over 150 channels, HD and DVR, or reliable high-speed internet. Dakota Central provides it all, serving Jamestown and Carrington and beyond. Call 952-1000, 652-3184, or see them on the web at dakotacentral.com. Tip off just a few moments away in Williston. Jamestown Blue Jays and the Williston Coyotes playing this afternoon for a spot in the WDA tournament. Now, let's, with great thanks to our friends at Keys, KEYZ 660 News Radio, let's join Mike Rudin. All is shooting a good percentage from the floor for the Coyotes as she's shooting around 36% from the floor. Ostream at 33 Alex Ostream at 44, so a couple of good teams are looking to make a splash and make their way into the WDA, and with postseason firmly upon us, anything can happen, and one of these two teams vying to be a Cinderella story here so far throughout the season. We're going to step away for a quick one-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll have more of the pregame show right here on 660 Keys News Radio and 1071 Jamestown. We'll be back in one minute. Otter Tail Power Company would like to remind you about the importance of high school athletics in the lives of children. Those extracurricular activities play a role in the education and development of those kids involved and provide a way for kids to learn some of life's most important lessons. Lessons that will take them through life with a sense of accomplishment and pride. Otter Tail Power Company would like to salute those athletes, coaches, and fans who make every season one to remember. You know you don't really want that hurry-up, bought-on-the-cheap, not-sure-what-I-got insurance coverage. Good, because Farmers Union Insurance Agents do things just a little different. We'll work with you personally for home, auto, business, or farm insurance and tailor the exact coverage plan you need because we're not satisfied until you are. Different? You bet. 
Farmers Union Insurance. Simply different. Good luck to the Blue Jays and Jimmies from your local Farmers Union agent, Steve Benyon. Not all products underwritten by Farmers Union Insurance. Mike, we're back here for Coyote Basketball. We have about four minutes left to go before we get underway. We're going to turn back the clock and take a look at the last matchup between these two teams. And that was the thrilling victory where the Coyotes came away with a big-time win. Leading the way in scoring for Williston in that game was Micah Fleck. Fleck had 18 points in the game. Avery Ostrom with 16 and Kendrell Hall with 11. Over for Jamestown, Addison Young with 20 points and Haley Addison putting in 14. The Coyotes looking for their third straight win against Jamestown on the season. First time in the postseason and it'll be the Coyotes with some home cooking behind them. But as the old adage goes, it's hard to beat a team three times in the season. Three minutes left before we get underway in this one. As we mentioned, coming up after this game, it will be the Coyote boys taking on Bismarck St. Mary's for the play-in game. As both St. Mary's and Jamestown will be in their blue road uniforms, Coyotes will be in their home white with orange trim. Fantastic crowd. It's a whiteout here in Williston. And T-shirts are being brought to you by all season sport about so they have a free will donation at the desk here for all the Wilson faithful to grab a t-shirt and support the Coyotes as they look to advance into the WGA tournament that'll be coming up later in the month will be in action for the WGA as well as you can catch both the Coyotes and the Tetons in their postseason play starting up here this next week and postseason play will continue throughout we'll have the williston state playing game on the men's side of the bracket that'll be coming up on the 25th still no no indication where that game will be played it's down to final two spots either here in williston at the well or in devil's lake against lake region state coming up tomorrow right here we have teton baseball getting underway They'll be up against North Dakota State College of Sciences. It'll be played down in Watford City. Those games will be at 12 and 10 or 12 and 2 o'clock. And then on Sunday, back to Williston State for some basketball. They'll be on the road for their final game of the regular season against Dakota College at Botno. I had a chance to talk with Coach Fleck for the Coyotes here before the game. Ask him how the team was feeling if they're ready to go to punch their ticket over to Bismarck coming up next week. And he said the team is locked in and watching them warm up, watching both teams warmed up. They are very, very eager to get underway with this one. One minute before we get started here for the National Anthem and starting lineups as the Willison High School pep band is getting the school songs underway. Also, there is students should be out in force tonight for the whiteout. The first 50 students here for the high school game will have their tickets paid for. So it should be a good crowd between the Coyotes and the Blue Jays. About a half a minute before we get underway for this one. Full teams lined up along the baseline to get ready for the starting lineups and national anthem. Fans for both teams still trickling in here to the John Cole Gymnasium in Williston. They're going to get going with the pregame announcements for this WDA play-in game. You can find it all game long right here on 660 Keys News Radio and 1071. We're going to step aside for a two-minute timeout for the national anthem. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and tip-off here from Willison. Back in two minutes. You love sports. So do we. You know, the thrill of victory and the agony of injury. Hey, injuries happen. Thankfully, JRMC Orthopedics is ready to act fast. As the official sports medicine team for Blue Jay Athletics, athletes and their fans can choose the home team for their care. Call 952-4878 for quick injury attention. Home Team Sports Medicine. It's right here at JRMC. 
Sign on bonuses $10,000 for full time RNs or LPNs working PM or NOC shifts, and $10,000 for full time NOC weekend package positions, and $5,000 for part time PM shifts. Also offering $5,000 for full time CNAs working PM shifts or weekend package, day PM or NOC shifts. Dietary positions available also. Apply at smphealth.org slash Ave Maria. Two Rivers Activity Center in Jamestown is now hiring. Track has openings for several part-time positions. Track offers a flexible schedule. We will work with you to make a schedule that fits your busy lifestyle. Track also offers a fun work atmosphere, and every employee of JPRD receives an employee pass, which provides free green fees at Hillcrest Golf Course. Complimentary open skate at the Winter Sports Building and free daily admission into Two Rivers Activity Center. Learn more about our open positions and apply online today at trackjamestown.com. Your home for the Jamestown Blue Jays. AM 1400 KQDJ Jamestown and 107.1 K296HH Jamestown. Well, it is truly now and ever for the Jamestown Blue Jay girls. Their chance to make the WBA tournament comes with this game this afternoon in Williston against the Coyotes. And let's return to Key 660 News Radio in Williston and Mike Ruther. Mike Ruther back here for Coyote Basketball. We are just finishing up with the National Anthem. And now we'll have the starting lineups for both teams here this evening on tonight's scoreboard, starting off with the visiting team, the Jamestown Blue Jays. The Blue Jays coming out first. It will be a five foot three freshman guard, number five, Addison Young. Out next, number 11. A six-foot sophomore forward, Mari Anderson. Sophomore number 12, Haley Adelson, a 5'9 guard. Number three, Mia Uland, a 5'3 sophomore guard. And out last is number 21, Leah Trumbauer, a 5'10 junior forward. The Blue Jays are coached by Andy Skunberg, assisted by Amy Joseph and Jason Walliser. Now it's time for the home team on the scoreboard, the Wilson High School Coyotes. Coming out first will be a 5'5 sophomore guard, number three, Micah Fleck. Out next, a 5'6 freshman guard, number 11, Allison Wilcox. Out third for the Coyotes, a 5'6 freshman guard, number 14, Elizabeth Milne. The lone senior on the squad for the Coyotes. Six foot one center, number 15, Kendra Hall. And rounding out the starting lineups for the Coyotes will be number 20, a 5'10, eighth grade forward, Avery Ostream. Coach for the Coyotes is Corey Fleck. Assistants are Victoria Johnson, Cody Ostream, Kaylee Turner, and Steve Powell. Three man officiating crew out on the court, and both teams are now huddled up for their last second pep top before we get underway here with postseason action in Williston. Jamestown, first one out to break the huddle, and they'll head out first. Coyote still along the logo. Now is going to be Kendra Hall stepping in for Williston. She'll be going up against Mari Anderson in the center circle. A couple of six-footers doing battle here this afternoon. There's the ball. It's going to be up, and it'll be come down. Hall is going to get it. Wilcox will push it across the timeline. First possession goes to the Coyotes. Fleck over. It'll go to Milne. Drive. Gets out of the baseline and she'll pass the ball out of bounds intended for Ostream. Gives the ball to the Blue Jays for their first possession. Inbound play goes to Ulin. Excuse me. It's Young working up and now across the timeline. Long pass back to Young. She's on the far wing looking for a curl down low. Couldn't find it. Force is going to be tipped away. James Towns able to keep possession. There's going to be a steal by Wilcox. Two on one down the court. It'll be underneath to Milne. Puts it off. That's going to be off. No good. Ostrom gets the rebound up and in. First two points go to Wilson. Avery Ostrom with the offensive rebound and put back. Back comes James Town up the court. Working the way around down to the near wing. On the drive goes Young. She's going to throw it up. And a contact underneath. Tipped out of bounds by Milne and the Coyotes. So Jamestown will be inbounding the ball underneath their own basket. 7.15 left to go in the half. 19 on the shot clock. Inbound coming for Jamestown. Still looking, waiting. Finally pours it up on top. Pump faking to be given 
by Adelson. She'll drive out of goal. Ulan. She'll step back. Three pointer on the way. Rattles at home. And that'll be Mia Ulan with a three pointer to give Jamestown a three to two lead. Back come the Coyotes. Flack has it up on top. Swing pass over to Wilcox. Down in the corner to Austrian. Baseline drive. Backwards pass. Will be taken away by Young. She pushed the issue down the court. She's going to get down. Kurt off on the baseline. Up to the wing to Anderson. She'll take a drive to the high post. Curls around underneath. Cut off by Hall. Pass back out to the outside. Another triple on the way. Off the back of the iron. Offensive rebound. It's going to be poked away. It'll be picking it back up. Will be Anderson. She swings it back to the perimeter. Up to Eulen. Drives. Floater in the paint. Off the mark. No good. Kendra Hall with the board. Back come the Coyotes. Micah Flack back up the court. Looking to set up the Coyotes in the half court. Look. Hall sets up a big screen to the top of the perimeter. Wilcox goes the other way. Now Wilcox bounce pass over to Milne. Thought about a three-pointer. She's going to drive, penetrate, kick it back out to Hall. Here comes a baseline shot. Skip pass over to go to Fleck along the baseline. She'll put it up. That'll be off. No good. Pull down by Haley Adelson. She'll kick it off to Young, who will push it up the court. Jamestown looking to build their lead. Young from way downtown. That one's not going to hit anything. It'll be tipped out of bounds by Wilcox. It'll stay with Jamestown. They'll have another 20 seconds on the shot clock after the inbound play. Setting up to call for action is Euland underneath her own basket. She gets it outside to Young. Looking up on top to Adelson. Adelson surveying, waiting, puts it on the deck. She'll flip it back behind her now over to Young. Drives and she's going to be hit on the way up by Fleck. So that'll send Addison Young to the stripe for a pair of shots. Here with 15.48 left to go. First personal on Fleck. First team foul on the Coyotes here in the first half. First one is going to be up and good. One for one so far from the stripe. The first free throw shot in the game. Four to two. Now Jamestown looking to increase their lead up to a full possession. Next one on the way for Young. That is up and good as well. Perfect two for two from the line. Back of the court comes Fleck across the logo. A 1-2-2 zone by Jamestown. Goes over to Wilcox. She's going to drive baseline underneath the hole. Kicks it out. Fleck for three for the tie. Off the mark. No good. Long rebound is going to be saved from going out of bounds by the Blue Jays. But it'll be taken away by the Coyotes. And Wilcox can't quite get it down to Milne who loses it out of bounds. Second turnover of the game for the Coyotes. Under 15 and a half left to go in the first. Back comes the Blue Jays up the court, looking to extend their three-point lead. Here comes another drive by Eulen. She's going to miss it off the front of the iron. No good. Pulled down by Hall. Throws it over to Fleck, who's going to lose it out of bounds. So the Blue Jays force another turnover. Now get a fresh 30 on the shot clock to try to extend that lead out once again. Inbound play coming from the baseline. Over to Ulan in the corner. Up on top. It'll go to Adelson. Adelson back in the corner to Ulan. Three-pointer on the way. In and out. No good. Anderson with an offensive rebound. She's going to wrestle it away, but it'll be a jump ball called out on the court. Alternating arrow will give it back to Jamestown. They'll once again be inbounding the ball from underneath their own basket. They set up along the blocks. Calling for action is Ewan waiting to get the ball from the official. Some side screens coming for Jamestown. Out to Young. It'll go on the perimeter. She's going to drive, takes a pop, kicks it out on the perimeter to Adelson. Adelson cross court over to Trumbauer. Three-pointer on the way. In and out, no good. Fleck with the rebound. She's going to run the point up the court, waiting for some transition help, and she's going to have it poked away, but will regain control. Up on top, it'll go to Wilcox. Back to Fleck. Just about lost it out of bounds. She recovers. Back to Wilcox again. Working through the zone. Little runner is going to be up, no good. Pulled down by Anderson, and that'll be a foul underneath on the Coyotes. Looking to steal the ball away. It may go on Wilcox. And it will. It'll be her first personal, first team. And a couple of subs will be coming in for Williston. Out is going Fleck as well as Milne. Into the game is Alex Ostrom as well as Riley Ergen. So both Alex and Avery Ostrom in the game for Williston. Up on the high post to Trumbauer. Pass underneath. Great time underneath to Haley Adelson for two more points for Jamestown. 7-2. The Blue Jays up five early. Back comes Alex Ostrom. Jump pass into the corner to Wilcox. Entry to Ergens. That's going to be poked away. Stolen again by Jamestown. They're looking to build a big early lead here against the Coyotes. Here comes Yunk with a high step, and she's going to be tied up with, with Wilcox, who did a good job getting in there to tie it up. Ball goes back to the Coyotes. Now Jamestown will hit the bench for the first time in the game. 
Adelson and Haley Adelson and Mari Anderson coming out. And there's going to be a short timeout called by the Coyotes. It'll be a 30-second timeout, 14.09 left to go. We'll be back in half a minute. The Frontier Fork invites you in for a true Dakota Territory dining experience. This unique location looks like an authentic 1800s fort. Head upstairs and you'll be greeted with the mouth-watering aroma of freshly grilled ribeyes and barbecued ribs. They're open from 4 to 9 Monday through Saturday, and their legendary prime rib is served on Fridays and Saturdays. Now hiring a full-time or part-time cook? Call 252-7492. The Frontier Fort, on the road to the Buffalo, Jamestown. Mike Ritter back here for Teton basketball, freshly into the game for, excuse me, Coyote basketball, freshly into the game is Hannah Adelson as well as Amelia Newman. Coyotes have the ball, Urgent out on the perimeter. Long pass, good to go to Wilcox. She's going to bobble the ball up on top to Alex Ostry. Alex kicks it into the corner to Avery. Baseline drive. She's going to get underneath the hall, puts it up and in. Kendra Hall with her first two points of the game on the ninth. Baseline assist from Avery. Up the court once again comes James Down. Three-point game, 7 of 4. Driving it over is going to be Young. Lose the ball, but going to be into the hands of Newman. Driving layup is going to be up, no good. The Urgens with the rebound. Gets it to Alex Ostrom. Coyotes pushing up over to Wilcox on the near wing. She'll cross over in front of a defender. Alex Ostrom over to Urgens. Looking down low for Hall. Couldn't find anything. Big skip pass to Avery. Back up on top to Wilcox. She'll drive baseline to Avery Ostrom. Pass up on top. Back to Wilcox. Coyotes congested on the left side of the perimeter. Alex Ostrom drives, pulls back, passes it over to Wilcox. That's going to be off no good. It'll be Ergens with the offensive board. Gets it to Hall, who puts it back up and in. Kendra Hall with four straight points in the game. And the Coyotes are within one point, seven to six. Jamestown looking to expand their lead back out. Up on top, Young has it, looking to drive. Kicks it into the corner for Newman. Good closeout by Alex Ostrom. Up on top, we'll go over to Newman. Back to Yonk with a driving layup up and in. Addison Yonk has been so good so far in this first half, driving to the hole. That time she got her to go. Alex Ostrom back for the Coyotes. Wilcox crashing into the corner. They get it to Urgens on the far wing. Back up on top to Ostrom. Back over to Urgens. Underneath to Hall. Hall is going to be cut off by Trumbauer. She gets it into the corner to Avery Ostrom. Long two-point jumper up and no good. Pulled down by Trumbauer and the Blue Jays. Back of the court comes Yonk. She'll slow things down. She gets across the timeline. Approaching 12 minutes left to go. Trumbauer on the perimeter. Guarded by Avery Ostrom. Back to Young. Going to come across. Wilcox got beat on the baseline. Pass over. It'll be kept alive by Jamestown. Back up on top. Eulin for three. That's not going to hit anything. Out of bounds. It'll go back to the Coyotes. There'll be another substitute coming in for Williston. Checking into the game will be... Mika Klumker for the first time. She'll go in for Kendra Hall. So we'll see if with Hall out of the game, if it is the Blue Jays hitting the post more often. Alex Ostrom up the court. She'll pick it up over to Wilcox. Wilcox for the tie. Up no good. Rebound's going to be wrestled away from Klumker. She hits the deck and pushing up the court once again is Addison Young. Young will slow things down. Kicks it into the perimeter to Newman. Looking down low in the post. Can't find anything. Good defense by Alex Ostrom. Trumbauer with a triple from the corner. Leah Trumbauer got it to go. Three more points, and the lead is pushed back to six. Ostrom now. Alex gets it up on top to Wilcox. Over to Ergens in the corner, looking underneath for Klumker. It's going to be taken away by the Blue Jays. Hannah Adelson came away with the steal. Euland again. Excuse me, Yunk again, pushing it up the court. Pass over to Newman on the near wing. She'll work her way to the top of the perimeter. Going to curl around, and she gets away with a no. They're going to call an offensive foul. Amila Ulin uses her offhand to push away. Mika Klumker drawing first team foul on the Blue Jays. Another sub coming into the game for Jamestown. In for Trumbauer. Back is Mari Anderson as the Kyles looking to chip away at the six-point deficit. Alex Ostrom back to Mika Fleck, who's back into the game. Mika cut off on the wing, back up to Ostrom. Alex back to Fleck. Fleck fires from the corner. That one's going to get in there. So Fleck with a big three-pointer for the Coyotes. And now it is a 12-9 game. Back at the court comes Jamestown. Three-pointer the other way. No good. 
Offensive rebound. They get it into you and kicks it out to Anderson. She's going to drive. Gets down to the low post, and she'll be fouled underneath. It'll be either on Alex or Avery Ostream. We'll have to see who that's going to be triggered on with 10.29 left to go. That'll go on Avery Ostream. He'll pick up. Inbound play goes underneath to Newman. She's going to stop. Tries to force one up, and that's going to be no good. Alex Ostream with the rebound. The stolen away underneath by Jamestown. They get it over to Adelson, and the Coyotes are going to take it away again. Poked away from Ergens. Gets it up to Alex Ostream. Ostream down along the wing. Now to Ergens. Back to Ostream, who's going to fire for a tie, and that is tied up. Alex Ostream with the big three-pointer. And it's tied up at 12 apiece. Back-to-back three-pointers by the Coyotes. Jamestown looking for a lead again. They heave another one up. Clunker can't secure. Finally, she rips away from Adelson. And the Coyotes with a chance to take their first lead of the game. Under 10 minutes left to go in the first half. 9.45 in a 12-all game. Ergens on the far wing. Up on top to Clunker. Kicks it back out to Fleck. Up to Alex Ostrom, back over to Ergens on the far wing. Long pass, Fleck has a saver from going out of bounds. She'll kick back to the three-point line. Nine on the shot clock, up to Alex Ostrom. Underneath to Klumker, drop step, flips one up, and she's going to be whistled for the travel before contact came. Be another turnover on the Coyotes. Elizabeth Milne coming back into the game for Williston, and currently the Coyotes have six players out on the court. So they have a little bit of a stoppage here as they have to see who's coming into the game. Now it'll be Ergens coming back out. They finally figured it out. Coyotes looking to put some full court press on. Inbounding the ball will be Mia Yulin for the Blue Jays. Looking to get it in. Over into the corner. It'll get for the Coyotes. Looking to work their way up for the Blue Jays. They brought back into the game Haley Adelson. And he poked away from Yonk. And she was thought she was fouled on that play. On the court for Jamestown will be Haley Adelson looking to get inbound pass. Goes into Hannah Adelson and Young throws one up. Wild shot and she's going to wrestle the ball away from Akayo. But before she comes free with the ball, it is a jump. And she threw Akayo down there that she got tied up with. Inbound play coming from Mia Ulan underneath her own basket. Other subs said to come in for Jamestown on the next stop. Up on top of the perimeter, it'll go to Haley Adelson. Back up to Young. She gets it to Ulin for three. That's up and good. Ulin with a three-pointer, and it is a three-point Jamestown lead as there's another timeout on the court. It'll be a full timeout called with 9.03 left to go in the first half. We'll be back in 60 seconds. At Unison Bank, we provide financial solutions for customers to meet their needs today and achieve their dreams tomorrow. From personal banking services like checking accounts, mortgage, and auto loans, to business banking services. At Unison Bank, we offer financial solutions with prompt responses and quality service. Visit unisonbank.com for more information. Located in Jamestown, Linton, and Wishick, as well as Gilbert, Arizona. Member FDIC and Equal. And David Burrow with you in uh, the I3G Media Jamestown Broadcast Center. The play-in game for the WDA tournament. If the Blue Jays win, they would play Minot on Thursday afternoon in the very first game of the tournament in Bismarck. Let's rejoin Key 660 News Radio and Mike Ruder. Mike Ruder back here. Play is back in. Coyotes have the ball. Mika Fleck on the drive. She's going to be taken down on the drive of the low post. Jamestown comes away with it. Mari Anderson bringing it up the court. She'll hold off and kick it over to Haley Adelson. Adelson surveying, taking off, gets to the high elbow, cut off, kicks it into the corner for Uland. Another three. That's going to be off the mark. No good. Another rebound by Hannah Adelson. And gets it back over to Uland. Works away up on top. Kicks it off to Mari Anderson. Anderson drives back in the corner to Trumbauer. Up on top, and there's going to be a reach and foul called on the Coyotes. So that'll be. A foul coming on Williston here with 8.29 left to go. Kendra Hall is going to be checking back into the game. She'll come in for Clumker. And also Wilcox will be checking out with Avery Ostrom coming back in. 
inbound play. Goes up on top to Trumbauer. Works it around. Three-pointer coming from Ulan. That's off the mark. No good. Hannah Anderson, another offensive board, and she gets tied up with Alex Ostream. That'll kick it back to the Coyotes. The fourth jump ball so far in the game. 8.21 left to go in the first half. Inbound play goes to Mika Fleck. She's played some big minutes so far in this first half. We'll see if the Coyotes can chip away at the three-point deficit. Here comes Fleck with a layup. That's going to be up and good. Fleck got a little seam and got to the hole for two more. 15 to 14. Of the court come the Blue Jays. Haley Adelson slowing things down. High screen from Hannah Adelson. Gets into the high elbow. Kicks it out to Ewan. Another one. Mia Ewan is on fire from deep here. And it's a back to a four-point lead for the Blue Jays. Fleck coming over. She's going to take Haley Adelson on the drive. Up on top. Milne for three. Off the back of the iron. No good. Hannah Adelson comes down to the board. She'll get it to Haley. Haley back up the court for the Blue Jays. Picks up a screen from Hannah. Now looking for options. Trying to find Eulen. Couldn't quite get it to her on the wing. Into the corner now to Trump. Bauer kicks it out to Eulen again for another one. Off the back of the iron that'll hit the top of the backboard. And it'll be pulled down by Hannah Adelson. Back it goes into the corner. Three-pointer for Haley Anderson. And that is now up to a seven-point lead for Jamestown. They're getting it done from deep here so far in the first. Flex slowing things down. She gets to the top of the perimeter. She'll puff. Push over to the wing. Drives baseline. Cut off along the triple team. Looking for a teammate. Forced it up to Milne. Milne drives down low. She's going to go underneath. Hoop and the horn by Elizabeth Milne. And a big drive that went into the teeth of that Jamestown zone. Was up and in. We'll see who that one was on as Mika Fleck will come out of the game for the Coyotes with Haley Ergens coming back in. And for the Blue Jays, Haley and Hannah Adelson will check out. So at the line is Milne for her one shot, and that is going to be up and good. So Milne now one for one from the stripe. Young calls will back in there for the Blue Jays. Back down to a four-point game, 21-17. to 17. Up at the top, Young driving around. She's going to go with a running layup up no good. Kendra Hall with the board for the Coyotes. Back up comes Alex Ostream, head of stream. She's going to kick it down underneath to Avery Ostrom, who puts it up and in. Avery with two more points. So the Coyotes answering back, and they are seeming to be up to the challenge here for the Blue Jays. Young kick swings it over to Anderson. Looking down low, nothing there. Anderson on the drive on Hall, cut off up on top. It'll go to Ulan. kicks it off to Newman. Newman on the drive. She tries to get some room, and she'll be fouled underneath. That's going to go on Milne. That'll be the third Foul on the Coyotes. Here was 6.21 left to go in the first. Put Amelia Newman at the stripe for the two-shot bonus. First one is going to be up and in. Newman extends the lead back out to three points. 22-19 to in favor of Jamestown. Here was 6.21 left to go. Newman at the stripe for her second of two. Let's it loose, and that one will be good as well. Perfect from the line go the Blue Jays. 6.20 and counting. Alex Ostrom back up the court in a four-point game. Ostrom over to Milne. Look underneath for Avery Ostrom. Up on top to Ergen. Swings it to Alex. Looking down low for Hall. Nothing available. Still looking. She dribbles down. Skip pass over to Avery. Avery up. It'll go to Ergen. Shimmy to shake. And it'll be bounce pass underneath the Hall. Puts it up and in. Two more for Kendra Hall. She has four in the game. Two-point contest. 23-21. Young up the court, swings it over to Anderson on the far wing. Jab step, looking now to Trumbauer along the perimeter. Trumbauer crosses over on Avery Ostrom, kicks it out to Anderson for three, up no good. Alex Ostrom pulls down the board, she'll run the break for Williston. She gets it down just inside the perimeter, kicks it out to Milne, three-pointer up, no good. Ergens with the board, that's going to be up and no good. Ergens rushed that, put back a little bit, and back up the court comes Young and the Blue Jays. Young. Slowing things down to the top of the perimeter. Over to Anderson on the near wing. Back up on top to Newman. Newman to Drumbauer on the drive. She'll lose it out of bounds. They're going to say strip by Avery Ostrom. Inbound play coming for Jamestown. 5.16 left to go in the half. 16 seconds left on the shot clock. Inbounding will be Newman calling for action. Gets it over into the corner. Up on top to Young. Young holding, waiting. Now she's going to get it inside the perimeter. Out to Trumbauer. Trumbauer trying to turn the corner, put off by Ostrom, up on top to Anderson for another triple. That won't hit anything. It's going to go out of bounds. 
And that'll go back to Williston with a chance to tie the game or take the lead this trip down the court. Alex Ostream jogging her way back up, looking to get a good offensive set for the Coyotes. Ostream pushes over to her left, cut off, up on top. It'll go to Avery, back to Milne. Shimmies her way through, through contact. She's going to throw it off a of Blue Jay. It'll be loose ball over to Alex Ostream. Drives baseline up on top to Avery Ostream for a long two-point shot. That's going to be no good, and there's going to be a foul called on Milne. Made contact with Newman before she could tie up for the jump ball. That's already the sixth-team foul on the Coyotes. Coming back into the game for Milne will be number 11, Allison Wilcox. The Giles running into a little bit of foul trouble here in the first. Back at the court comes Addison Young, looking to preserve their two-point lead here over the Coyotes. Up on top, Trumbauer. Back will go, working their way to Newman. Newman cross to Eulen. Eulen down low, underneath Trumbauer. Post to post, pass to Anderson. Worked down against Hall. Drop step again, and then Hall forces the double dribble by Mari Anderson, who thought she had a good seal for an easy two points. Jamestown going to their bench once again. They'll bring out of the game Anderson as well as Euland. Back in is Hannah Anderson. Back of the court comes Alex Ostream underneath to Kendra Hall. She's going to be trapped. Back it'll go to Ostream for three for the lead. Got it to go. Alex Ostream with the triple. And the Coyotes are up by one, 24-23. Back of the court comes Young. Working her way around. She's going to drive. Kicks it into the perimeter over to Haley Adelson. Up on top to Newman. Holding on. Comes off. Picks up a Trumbauer screen. Adelson gets into contact. It'll be a... Uh, Loose ball on the ground. It'll be Hannah Adelson comes away with it, puts up an eight-footer, and they're going to call in. I don't know. I'm not sure what the call is. Initially, the bucket was good. So both teams meeting along the bench. So it may have been a warning issued. Both teams getting a second to huddle up, and the, as the officials confirm... But as of right now, they had on Hannah Adelson shot counts. And we have a stoppage here on the court. 3.41 left to go. Looks like there was just a short timeout call. No officials signal the timeout. So we'll get here while they confer. Coyotes have come back from a seven-point deficit. They momentarily had the lead before Hannah Adelson hit the eight-foot jumper in the paint off of yet another offensive rebound for Jamestown. So Jamestown has been living and dying by the three so far, and they've been doing a good job for getting second and third chances, and with their guard play, have been able to swing it around and fill it up. 3.41 left to go. Neither team is sitting on the bench. Now the officials are coming up to the score bench to confirm. So there's going to be a one-and-one one called. The officials signaled, so... Looks like we may have some free throws coming here after the time or after this break on the court. They're going to call Allison Wilcox for her third personal. So it's gonna, not going to be uh, not going to be these shots coming. There looks like they are now going to give the ball to the Coyotes. So confusion abound here at the John Cole Gym- Gymnasium in Williston. Wilcox will pick up. So they have mixed. Now some more clarification coming. Wilcox picks up her third, and Addison Young picks up her first, so a double foul. So that will be no shots coming. Alex Ostream back up the court for the Coyotes as they look to regain the lead. Bounce pass over to Fleck. Fleck with a quick three. That's going to be up. No good. Trumbauer with the rebound. She'll kick it off to Young. who will push it up the court for Jamestown. Crosses the timeline. Over on top of the perimeter. Under three and a half left to go in this one. Entry pass underneath. It'll go to Newman. Back up on top. Three-pointer for Haley Adelson. Up and good. It is raining threes here for Jamestown in this first half. They've pushed their lead back out to four. Back up comes Wilcox. Or excuse me, comes Ostream across the timeline. Over to Wilcox. Baseline drive. Looking underneath. She'll throw it away. Into the hands of Leah Trumbauer, who will run the court over to Young. Gets along the baseline. Bounce pass into the corner. Three-pointer again from Haley Adelson. That'll be off the mark. No good. Comes down with Fleck. Fleck pushing it up the court. She'll take on a bunch of defenders. She's going to have her shot blocked by Hannah Adelson. And that'll be Fleck picking up another foul. 
So Hannah Adelson will now walk down the court as that's the eighth team foul on the Coyotes so far in the first half with still 2.44 left to go. And the Coyotes will be going to the bench coming out of the game. Will be flecking going in is Mika Klumker. So Klumker back in for a little bit of run here in the first half. At the stripe for the one and one are Jamestown and Hannah Adelson misses the front half. Pulled down by Williston. Ergen pushing up the court. Over to go to Avery Ostream. Gets in the paint. She's going to be fouled on the way up. So that'll be Avery Ostream going to the line with a chance to cut the lead in half. So the Coyotes full of fight here in this one. Looking to erase yet another deficit. This time two shots from the stripe for Avery Ostream. A couple of subs to the bench for Jamestown. Ostream with a jump shot from the line is going to be up and good. 28-25. Out of the game for the Blue Jays is Newman, as well as Trumbauer, in is Mari Anderson, as well as Mia Ewan. Avery Ostream back at the stripe for her second of two. On the way, that one will get in as well, making it a two-point game. Now 28-26, with Blue Jays still up on top. Young has it on the wing, up on top to Ewan. Looking to swing it back to Yonko. Move her way. Guarded by Ergens around the perimeter. Kicked out to Han- Haley Adelson. Up on top to Anderson. Anderson back to Ulan. Back into the corner for Handel. Anderson working on Klumker. Three-pointer coming. No good. That one was missed by Ulan. Coyotes pull down the rebound. Alex Ostream driving. Cut up on top of the perimeter. Over to Ergens. Down low in the corner. Skip pass up on top to Hall. Hall takes it off on the drive. She pulls up from eight off the board. No good. Tipped out of bounds, and it's going to be last touch by Young. Try to save it from going out. Another substitution in for Jamestown. Checking in is going to be number 32, Emily Ellingson. We'll see her first action in for Hannah Adelson. Alex Ostrom inbounding from the baseline. She'll get it to Hall in the near corner. And it's going to be Ergens throws one up off the board. No good. Loose ball. Alex Ostrom with the offensive rebound. Gets it over to Kendra Hall for three for the lead again. Second rebound attempt. And Ergens with another board. Klumker gets it up on top. And she's going to be taken down by Young. Got her hand in on the wrist of Klumker. Another foul. And that'll be number two on Young. As Milne will check back into the game for Klumker. More guard presence out on the court for Williston. Substitution coming in for Jamestown as well. Checking out will be Yonk. And back into the game is going to be Trumbauer. Inbound play goes to Ergens on the far wing. Up on top to Alex Ostrom. Jump pass over to go to Milne. Out of bounds and the Tetons sail one. They turn the ball over. 135 of to go in the first half. So Jamestown with a chance for a couple more possessions. We'll see if how quickly they get the ball off here down the court. Moving her way up is Haley Adelson. She'll jog it across the timeline with a buck and a half left to go. Anderson Hall's giving her a long room of berth. Up on top to Trumbauer. Swings it over to Adelson. Underneath to Anderson on the low post. She has to push it back out. You win for three, and that one's going to be off the mark. No good. Offensive rebound underneath by Ellingson, and she's going to throw the ball up. It'll hit the shot clock. And that'll give the ball back to the Coyotes. 114 left to go in the first in a two-point game. Alex Ostry up to the top. She'll be met by Trumbauer at top of the 1-2-2 zone. Jump pass over to Milne. Milne takes a dribble. She's going to be stripped in the corner to Avery Ostry. Baseline drive, and Ostry has it. Let's see if she has it tipped away. And they're going to say it is. No, they're going to say it's going to be a foul called on Emily Ellingson on a push with the forearm so that'll be the last foul to give for Jamestown as the Coyotes will inbound from their own baseline with a minute even. Alex Ostrom calling for action. Coyotes working. They get into Ergens into the corner. She's going to go baseline drive cut off by a couple of defenders. Turn around jumper up and in for the tie. Riley Ergens all knotted up at 28. 51 seconds left to go. Jamestown can go for a two for one. Long pass over onto the wing to Trumbauer. Puts it on the deck, up on top to Anderson. Thought about a three-pointer. Hall was giving her enough room over to Ewan. Ewan, swing pass to Trumbauer. 
on the far wing, driving on Avery Ostrom. Cut off, up on top to Anderson for three. That one's going to be off the mark, no good. Offensive rebound underneath for Trumbauer. She's going to be blocked by Avery Ostrom. Back comes Alex up the court. Shot clock is off. Coyotes can hold for one. Milley heaves one early, in it goes. Elizabeth Milley for a lead. Back comes Jamestown. They have 15 seconds left to look to tie it up here at half. Calling for action is going to be Haley Adelson, and there's going to be an over and back violation. Adelson with a little bit of a stutter step as she was being guarded by Milne up along the timeline. So the Coyotes will now have 10.1 seconds left to go to try to extend their three-point lead, their largest so far of the game. Ergens gets it in, Hall posting up. Ergens gets it into Hall. It's going to be tipped away, loose ball on the ground, kept alive by Jamestown. Trumbauer has it with two seconds left. She's going to get it, and she'll step out of bounds. So there will be just point one left to go in the half. Not enough time for a shot or a tip in. The Kyles are going to get a play in, so we'll see if they can steal some points here. And I think the officials are convening here. That's point one seconds, not enough time to do anything. They may just flip it into Hall, who heaves it up at the bucket, and that's what they'll allow the Kyles to do. Coach Flex saying, hey, just catch and heave, and that one's going to be no good as Milne just shy of the rim at halftime. The Kyles have taken a 31-28 to lead here over Jamestown. We're going to take a four-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll have the halftime stats here from Williston. You're listening to Coyote Basketball on 660 Keys News Radio and 1071 in Jamestown. We'll be back in four minutes. From baby bump and beyond, let me help you exercise safely during and after your pregnancy. I'm Brittany Ganarelli, the area's only pregnancy and postpartum corrective exercise specialist and doctor of physical therapy. Let me help you safely gain confidence in movement during and after your pregnancy. Come and see me at Apex Physical Therapy and Wellness Center. That's Apex Physical Therapy and Wellness Center in Jamestown, 701-952-2739. That's 952-2739. Forecast details from Ag Central for tonight. Mostly clear skies, lows in the mid-20s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny. Highs will be in the low 50s. A breezy day. Southwest winds gusting into the 30s. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-20s. For Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the low 40s. And then for Monday, expect mostly sunny skies. Near record high temperatures. Some areas could see the low 60s. This is the Ag Central Radio Network. Cloudy and 27 degrees in Jamestown. It's 539 on Jamestown 107.1. Some of us were born to farm. Some diesels, like Cenex Premium Diesel, were born to fuel. Cenex Ruby Fieldmaster comes with a more complete additive package for a more complete burn to reduce particulate matter and keep filters cleaner for longer. Fuel your equipment like a pro with Cenex Ruby Fieldmaster and leave typical number two diesel to the amateurs. Cenex Premium Diesel. Diesel that doesn't mess around. Johnny B's Brickhouse. Famous for their pizza, but wait, there's pasta. And their amazing wings. And fresh ground hamburgers. Tasty salads and appetizers, too. And for dessert, you can't beat their sweet sticks. Come on out for Tuesday night trivia and live entertainment every Thursday night. The place to be is Johnny B's, smack dab in the middle of Main Street, downtown Jamestown. And remember, for delivery and carryout, call 952-8777. As it has gone most of this season again, not going easily today for Jamestown Blue Jay girls basketball in their absolute last chance to make the WDA tournament. They're in the play-in game in Williston and trailing the Coyotes at the half, 31-28. to David Burrow back with you in the I3G Media Jamestown Broadcast Center. We'll rejoin KEYZ Key 660 News Radio and Mike Ruder for his halftime observations in just a little bit. Blue Jays had as much as a seven-point lead during the first half of this game, very later part of the half, up 21-14. But then, after a 10-2 run, Williston took the brief lead, and they had another run at the end of the half, scoring the last seven of the first half. They have the 31-28 lead. While we have a moment, let's remind you of what's coming up here on Jamestown 107.1. We're also the voice of the Jamestown Jimmies, and tomorrow afternoon, 
The Jimmies will host Dakota Wesleyan in the final regular season games for both teams. We'll have it for you at 1.30. Minnesota Twins baseball on Sunday afternoon, the first of the spring training games that we'll bring you for the Twins as they'll take on the Boston Red Sox in Lee County near Fort Myers, the Red Sox facility. That's at 12 noon on Sunday. Wednesday, more Jimmy's basketball. Of course, we don't know yet exactly the coverage plans. That's still to be determined in the first round of the GPAC postseason tournament, but that's Wednesday on Jamestown 107.1 and possibly elsewhere. We'll let you know about it when we get that all straight. For the Jamestown Blue Jays trying to make it to Thursday in the WDA tournament, trailing at Williston at the half in the play-in game, 3128. Let's return to Keys 660 News Radio and Mike Reader. Mike Reader back here for Coyote Basketball on 660 Keys News Radio and 1071 in Jamestown. And we are at halftime. Coyotes holding on to a 31-28 lead over the Blue Jays, taking a look at scoring, starting off with Jamestown. They're led by Mia Uland, who has nine points at the break. Coming in with three three-pointers made in that first half. She had three of the six three-pointers that were put in by James Town so far in the game. Eight points by Haley Adelson. She had two three-pointers and a two-pointer. Four points coming in from Addison Young on a couple on a nice driving layup as well as going two for two from the stripe. Three points in from Leah Trumbauer who hit a three-pointer. Two points in from Hannah Adelson and two points in from Amelia Newman. The Blue Jays had three two-pointers in the half, six three-pointers, and went four of five from the charity stripe. Four and a half minutes left to go before we get underway with the start of the second here from Williston. We're going to take a look now at how the Coyotes are getting things done on the offensive end, and they've been spreading the scoring around here throughout this one. Taking a look at the leading score for Williston as there are four players with six points each. Alex Ostream, Elizabeth Milney, Kendra Hall, and Avery Ostream, each with six points in the game. Five points coming in from Micah Fleck and two points coming in from Riley Ergens off of a nice fadeaway baseline jumper. In that first half, the Coyotes have two, have eight two-pointers made, four three-pointers, and have gone three for three from the stripe. The Coyotes and the Blue Jays are hitting a barrage of three-pointers so far. Ten has been made in the game, and this one is going to be a great one coming down to the wire. As we mentioned, in the combined score total between the earlier two games between these two teams, just seven points separated total with the Coyotes winning the first game by four and the second game by three. So this one will be a coin toss coming down to the wire here from the John Cole Gymnasium in Williston. Three minutes left to go before we kick things off for the start of the second half. We're going to send him back to the studios for another two-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll get you going here for the start of the second here from Williston. Hey, it's Sean with the Jamestown Country Club. Remember to get your membership for the upcoming season at our 18-hole championship course that hosts the FCCU Labor Day Classic and we're the home course for the Blue Jays and Jimmies men's and ladies golf teams. The Jamestown Country Club hosts an excellent bar and restaurant that is open to the public and has the only outdoor pool in the area. Contact the Jamestown Country Club today for your membership. And congratulations to the Minnesota Twins' Joe Maurer on his election into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Need some custom screen printed t-shirts? Lots of t-shirts? You need originals. Originals! Or do you just need one shirt with your corporate logo for the new guy? Originals! Caps, jackets, U sizes, adult sizes, Blue Jay apparel, Jimmy apparel? You need originals. There you have it, folks. For custom printed apparel, embroidery, and work apparel, it's originals. They can also do online stores for your sports team or business. 216 First Avenue, downtown Jamestown. Open 9 to 5 weekdays. Visit originals.com. Looking for one of the best ATVs on the planet? Then check out Honda 4Tracks Foreman. There are three models to choose from, and they all offer strong swing arm rear suspension that is perfect for hard work or towing. They all feature strong front and rear racks, plus a handy utility box for storage. So head to Gun Real Sports in First Street, West Downtown Jamestown, and check out the new Honda Foreman. For riders 16 and older, Honda recommends all ATV riders take training course and read the owner's manual thoroughly. How are you doing? Really? How are you doing? Are you taking the time to check in on you? 
a real check-in. Scheduling a wellness visit is an easy way to take care of yourself. At Essentia Health, we want to know how you're doing. We want to help. Whether it's face-to-face or a virtual appointment, the right care is waiting for you. We'll listen, assess how you are, and get you back on track. It's always good to check in. Care like nowhere else. Essentia Health. Schedule online at EssentiaHealth.org. Mike are back here for Coyote basketball. Both the Blue Jays and the Coyotes out on the court, shooting around, getting warmed up for the start of half number two. A minute left to go before we get back into this one, and it has been a good one so far. The Coyotes battling some early turnover woes, and they have climbed back down from at one point what was a seven-point deficit by uh, from the of the Blue Jays, and now the Coyotes are leading by three. 31-28, the Coyotes are looking for a scoring by committee here this afternoon. And the Blue Jays have gotten some big three-pointing output so far in the game. They look to continue that as well. Mia Yulin with three triples herself. And she's going to look to continue that effort to try and propel the Blue Jays over the Coyotes to advance into the WGA tournament. Coyotes coming out onto the floor first. It will be Fleck. Wilcox, Ostream, Milne, and Hall. The famous same five starters out on the court for Willison here to start this second half. The Coyotes now 18 minutes away from punching their ticket into the tournament. As the Blue Jays now looking to exit the huddle, they'll have Trumbauer, Uland, Young, as well as Anderson, and Haley Adelson. The Bull team's out with their same five starters. It's Blue Jays ball here to start the second half. Inbound play will go out to Young. She has two fouls looking to pick up a second, not looking to avoid picking up an early third up on top. Now to Adelson. Surveying, waiting for something to develop over to Ulan. Gets it down low to Trumbauer. Trumbauer kicks it back out to Young. Young drives, kicks to Ulan. A big hop by Ulan. She'll push it up onto the top. Trumbauer for a triple. That'll be off the back of the iron. No good. Hall with the rebound for the Coyotes. She'll get it off to Wilcox. We'll push it up. 17-35 and counting. Wilcox on the top. She'll take off into the teeth of the 1-2-2 defense. Go Fleck over to Milne. Waiting, surveying. Baseline drive cuts off underneath to Austrian. That's going to be no good. Pulled down by Ulan. So both teams have empty sets here to start this second half. Young sets a hot, gets a high screen from Anderson, reverses directions to the elbow, kicks it out to Ulan, waiting for Adelson to pop up to the top of the perimeter, gives it to her, out to Young for a triple and a tie, got it to go. Addison Young ties it up at 31 apiece. Back comes Michael Fleck and the Coyotes across the logo. She'll set up in the half court. Long pass over to Milne. Looking down low. Nothing doing. Back up to Fleck. Swings it to Wilcox. Looking for Milne in the corner. Gets it for Milne. Catch and shoot three. Off the front of the iron. No good. Pulled down by Young. And Jamestown now pushing up the court. Have a chance to reclaim the lead. Young with a little hesitation move. Step back. Three-pointer on the way. Off the front of the iron. No good. Micah Fleck comes down with a rebound. Two on one down the court. Fleck will hit it up. Hoop and the harm by Fleck. Gives the Coyotes a two-point lead. Chance to make it three once again if Fleck can knock down the one-shot penalty to complete the three-point play. That foul is a big one as well on Jamestown as Addison Young picks up her third. Just the first team foul in the half. Wilcox at the stripe for one shot. Or excuse me, Fleck at the stripe for one shot. She'll put that one up and in. Makes it 34-31. Young with the ball back up the court for the Blue Jays. She'll be met by Fleck again at the top of the perimeter. Anderson setting a high screen. Young crosses over. She'll get a step onto the high elbow. Cut off by a couple of Kyles. Back out to Trumpower. She's going to go on Avery Ostream drive. Stepping through and she'll be blocked underneath by Hall. Wilcox comes away with it. Both teams thought there was going to be a foul call. So they stopped action. Fleck into the corner for Avery Ostream. Baseline drive. She's going to long pass over to Wilcox. High post to Hall. Hall's going to dribble it off her foot. That's going to be picked up by Haley, Haley Adelson. She'll split a couple of defenders and draw the foul. Both Wilcox and Milne were in the area. As both Alex Wilcox and Riley Ergens will be checking into the game. That foul goes on Wilcox, her fourth. 
So Wilcox will come out of the game as well as Fleck. Up on top, here comes here comes a long layup for the Blue Jays. Adelson misses it. Kyle's turned it over, and it's going to be stolen back, but it'll be picked back up by Young. So some crazy action out on the court. Into the corner, back up on top. It'll go to Ulan. Ulan surveying, looks to get it to the mid post to Anderson. Anderson trying to get it free. She gets it out to Adels, and that's going to be up no good. Tip ball comes around to Young. She hits the deck. Back up on top to Ulan with a three. Got it to go. Ulan for the triple. So another three-pointer to tie it up by Ulan, her fourth of the game. 34-34 all. 5.15 left to go in the game. Alex Ostream gets into the corner to Avery Ostream. Looking baseline to Ergens. Underneath, reverse layup by Ergens. That's no good. Pulled down by Trumbauer. She'll get her off to Young. Cool march her way back up the court. Jamestown looking to retake the lead with 15 minutes left to go. Young, another high screen from Adel- from Anderson. Over to the corner to Ewan. Back up on top to Adelson. To Young now on the near wing. Young into Anderson for a corner three. High bounce, no good. Pulled down by Trumbauer. Gets underneath. Lose the dribble. Reverse layup on the way up. In and out, no good. Rebound again. It's going to be tipped away. Kicks it out in the corner to Adelson for three. That's off, no good. Another rebound by Trumbauer. Gets it out to Yunk. Yunk on a baseline drive. Goes for a floater up and in for Yunk. And a nice little floater from about eight feet out. 36-34. Jamestown back up on top. Here come the Coyotes. Alex Ostream. He'll hand it off to Milley on top of the perimeter. Works her way around, looking for something to get set up. Now to Ergens. Bounce pass to Alex Ostream. Three-pointer from Alex in the corner. Got it to go. And the Coyotes are back up now by one point. And there's going to be a timeout on the court here with 14.06 left to go. It's a full timeout. We'll take a full one as well. Back in 60 seconds. Where do you find the friendliest staff, largest selection, lowest prices, and the freshest produce? Hugo's in Jamestown. But what if you can't go to the store? Hugo's Family Marketplace offers online shopping. You can shop all the departments and all the sales at GoHugos.com. Choose pickup or Hugo's delivery service, and they'll do the in-store shopping for you. Hugo's Family Marketplace online shopping at GoHugos.com. You're going to find more low prices, more great stuff when you go to Hugo's. Why choose professional eye care centers? Let me count the whys. First, there are now four great doctors to see. Dr. Frank, Dr. Freilich, Dr. Jangula, and now welcoming Dr. Bond. Next is their many locations. You can now see one of their spectacular doctors in Jamestown, Valley City, Carrington, Edgeley, Ellendale, and Lemoore. And finally, their fantastic frame selection. And yes, all of their frames and lenses are backed up by warranty. Visit ProEyeCareCenters.com and make an appointment today. Professional eye care centers. game with 14.06 left to go. The Coyotes have a one-point lead over the Blue Jays, 37-36. like to thank all of our 660 listeners as well as our 107-1 listeners in Jamestown. Trumbauer has the ball on the far wing. Up on top, it'll go to Newman, who's freshly checked in the game, as well as Hannah Adelson. Here comes a Newman drive, and she's going to be whistled for the travel. And it'll give it back to the Coyotes. Is on the bench is Haley Adelson and Mari Anderson here for this stretch. Alex Ostream pushes it up the court for the Coyotes. Up on top of the perimeter, she'll drive to the wing in the corner for Ergens. Looking something baseline, she'll be double teamed. Tipped away by her by Yunk, and Yunk just couldn't save it from going out of bounds. So the Coyotes will be inbounding from in front of their own bench on the near sideline. Ostream waiting. She has Hall up on top of the perimeter, and there's going to be a foul called on Hannah Adelson. And she's got tangled up underneath with Klumker. So that'll be this first personal on Hannah Adelson. Second team foul on Jamestown here in the half. Alex Ostream inbounding. Gets it into the paint to Avery Ostream. Puts it up and just off the front of the rim. No good. And it'll be Hannah Adelson. Rips a rebound away from Klumker. Back come the Blue Jays up the court looking to retake the lead. Young working her way around, be guarded by Ergens on the point. Picks up a screen from Adelson, working her way, high post. And she's going to be fouled on the drive by Ergens. So Ergens had help behind her in Kendra Hall, but a little bit too physical on the drive defense. 
That'll be the second team foul on the Coyotes. Just the first personal on Ergens. And Yunkel in the bound the ball for Jamestown. Gets it to Ewell and kicks it up on top to Newman. And there'll be a quick foul again called on Williston. This time, Clunker, Clunker picks up the foul. A couple of quick, quick fouls for the Coyotes. Just the first on Clunker. 13-22 left to go in the game. Inbound play coming for Jamestown. Up on top to Hannah Adelson. Working the corner is going to be Newman. Cut off up on top. Newman against Klumker, looking to find a seam. She can't quite get inside to the high post. Over to go to Young. Crosses over on Ergen. Step back three on the way. It'll be off the back of the iron. No good. Pulled down by Alex Ostream, who pushes it up the court. Ostream across the timeline. 13 minutes left to go into the corner for Klumker. will take off on the drive. Kicks it back to Ostream. Low post over to Avery. Up on top to Hall. Hall to the high post. Kicks it back to Ergens for three. Off the mark. No good. Tipped around. Ergens get the ball back from the charity stripe up and in. Riley Ergens now with four points in the game for the Coyotes. And they have a three-point lead once again. Their largest in the contest. They've met that a couple times. Young has it. Working away on top of the perimeter. Ergens with good defense. Out to Newman. She'll swing through. Gets it up on top now to Trumbauer. Over to Newman, to Yunk, in the near corner. Works her way back up to the high post. Tries to throw a wild hook shot up. Gets her own rebound. She'll dribble out up on top. Newman for three for a tie. In and out, no good. Avery Ostrom comes down to the ball. She'll push it up the court across the timeline. Slowing things down, a little hesitation. Back it'll go to Alex Ostrom, who's on the drive after a pump fake. Go big jump step in the paint. Running jumper is going to be no good by Klumker. It'll be pulled back down by James Sound. Up to Young. will push it up the court. Long pass over to Newman on the wing. Newman slowing things down. She'll work her way back up. Hands it back off to Young. Young slowing things. James Sound getting ready for a set play. Young will hand it off to Ewan. Ewan closed out by Alex Ostry. Back in the corner to Young. Young looking to drive on Oregon. Back to Newman. Newman on the drive gets a step. And she's going to throw one up. Lots of contact. No call. And there's going to be an out-of-bounds play coming as it was last touched by Kendra Hall and the Coyotes for Williston. It'll be Ergens as well as Klumker going out of the game. Milne and Fleck back in. And Young will come out of the game for Jamestown. Inbound play coming. Looking to curl around to get it to Trumbauer underneath. And she's going to throw it up at the buzzer to be the shot clock. And that'll be off the side of the backboard. No good. So the Coyotes force a shot clock violation. Mike of Lank back in for the Coyotes. Alex Ostrom with the ball working away up the court. Coyotes with a chance to get their largest lead of the game. Ostrom flips it over to Milne. Working away around. Weaves it up to Fleck. Turns the corner to Avery Ostrom. Baseline drive going to be cut off by Adelson. And she'll have it tipped out of bounds. So the Coyotes may have gotten away with a call on that one. As it looked like Avery Ostrom just lost it off her fingertips out. That it's going to be last touch by Amelia Newman. Inbound play goes to Milne. Catch and shoot off the inbound pass. Just about got a bank shot in. Offensive rebound. Alex Ostrom over to Milne again. She'll put it on the deck. One dribble up on top to Fleck. Slowing things down for the Coyotes. Approaching 11 minutes left. Fleck between her legs. Being guarded by Ewan. Underneath her go to Avery Ostrom. Has it knocked away. She may have taken a shot in the nose on that one. Up the court comes Trump Bauer. Trump Bauer from the wing. She'll slow things down up to Hannah Adelson. Waiting for a guard to come pick it up. Over to go to Eulen. Eulen looking for Newman. Gets her on the low post. She'll bounce it out of the outside. Here comes Haley Adelson for three. Got it to go. And that's a tie game up at 39 apiece. 39 all with closing in on 10 and a half left. Alex Ostrom at the top of the perimeter. Kicks it over to Milne. Looking down low. Can't quite find it. She's going to be hounded by a double team. Puts it on the deck. Looks to throw it on the baseline. Stolen away by Newman. And now James had a chance to reclaim the lead. Eulen pushing up the court for the Blue Jays. She'll wait for her teammates to filter through and get set up. Long pass over to Trumbauer on the far wing. Looking for Newman on another curl. Up it'll go to Hannah Adelson for a three. In it goes. Hannah Adelson rattled it home. And the Blue Jays are up by a triple. 42-39. Fleck now pushing it up the court for the Coyotes. Looking to return the favor. Fleck over to Milne. She'll work her way up on top. Milne giving her lots of room. Didn't take it. Fleck's going to drive through to the baseline. Cut off by a double team up on top to Milne. Milne's going to drive. She'll throw it up. Up and in. Banks it in. Two more for Milne. And the Coyotes go with another mid-range bank shot. Young set to chuck in for the Blue Jays on the next stop. Trumbauer has it on the perimeter. Looking to get it underneath to a forward. Bounce pass over to Newman. 
Newman now to Haley Andelson. Adelson looking down low, gets it to Hannah, thought about another three-pointer, didn't take it. She'll put it on the deck. Back to Eulen. Eulen with another triple, and that's going to be up and in. May Eulen with her fifth three-pointer of the game, and it's up to a, a now a four-point lead, 45-41. Alex Ostream into the corner to Avery Ostream. Gets it into Milne. She'll be tied up with Eulen. And the alternating arrow will keep it with the Coyotes. Young and Anderson coming back into the game for Jamestown. I'll go in for Ewan as well as Trumbauer. And we have a timeout on the court here with 9.08 left to go. Called by the Blue Jays. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take a full one as well. Back in one minute. Before you can start building a business, you have to have great builders. Hillerud Construction is a builder of high-quality commercial buildings, and they're hiring talented labor and carpenters to help them do just that. Vacation, paid holidays, 401k, and health insurance benefits for full-time employees, plus great pay depending on experience. Apply at 1008 2nd Avenue Southeast, Jamestown, or visit hillerudconstruction.com. Again, visit hillerudconstruction.com, and let's get building. Your home for the Jamestown Blue Jays. AM 1400 KQDJ Jamestown and 107.1 K296HH Jamestown. Well, how about Hannah Adelson? Has not scored a whole lot this season. Has been a good rebounder, but put the three in that gave Jamestown the lead. Then Mia Uland adding to it with another three. Mia, after not playing the other line, having a big day today. Let's head back to Key 660 News Radio and Mike Ruda. Nice. Mike and Rebecca here for Coyote Basketball on 660 Keys News Radio and 1071. 908 left to go in the second half. Coyotes trail by four points, 45 41. Wilson inbounding from their own baseline up on top. It'll go to Milney. Milney looking to drive. She loses the ball. Hall will pick it up from going out of bounds, and there's going to be a foul called on. No, they're just going to say it's out of bounds on Jamestown. Young just about picked up another foul out there. So it'll be the Coyotes inbounding again. They'll get it up on top to Alex Ostrom on the left-hand side of the court. She'll look to pro, being guarded by Newman. Out to the wing, up on top. It'll go to Milne, looking for options. Flips it back behind her to Fleck. Fleck with a 17-footer on the way. Rattles it down in. Micah Fleck with the long two-point jumper. Back to a two-point game, 45-43. Young brings it up the court. Gets it over to Haley Adelson. Down the... Corner to Anderson. Back up to Newman. Just about misplayed the ball. Young up on top. She'll get it over to Adelson again. Looking for Newman. Curling through. Nothing there. In the corner to Hannah Adelson. Hannah. Spin move on. Ostrom kicks it back out to Newman for three. Got it to go. Newman with another triple for the Blue Jays. And stoppage out on the court. So then looks like it was just an errant whistle on the court. It looks like we're ready to go once again. Coyotes trail by 5, 48-43. Back comes Micah Fleck up the court. Waiting for Alex Wilcox to get set defensively. Over to Milne. High post to Kendra Hall. In the corner to Fleck for three. Off the mark. No good. Anna Adelson with the board. She'll get it off to Addison Young. Young back up the court for Jamestown. Jamestown looking to meet or surpass their largest lead of the game here goes for another triple that's going to rattle around no good hall with the rebound she gets it off to fleck will push it up the court for the coyotes fleck being hounded by hannah Adelson along the perimeter up on top to alex Ostry. baseline it'll go to avery she'll pull out to the perimeter put it on the deck alex picks up a loose ball she'll drive get to the high elbow long pass will go to fleck too hall tall to handle and that'll be out of bounds another turnover for the coyotes with 737 left to go in the game. Jamestown looking to pull away here from this one. They don't want to go 0 and 3 against the Coyotes here in the season with a trip to the WDA playoffs on the line. Young up on top. High screen from Hannah Adelson. Three pointer in the corner from Newman. Got it to go. Newman with another triple. And now there's going to be a timeout or a stoppage on the court as the net got flipped up on itself. Substitution for both teams. For the Coyotes, they're going to bring out of the game Fleck as well as Alex Ostrom. Back in is Wilcox along with Riley Ergens and for the Blue Jays. And Adelson gets a break on the bench with Leah Trumbauer coming back in. 
Back at the court comes Michael Fleck and the Coyotes over to Ergens. 51-43, eight-point game. Milne gets it over to Wilcox. Wilcox gets it to Milne straight away. Three-pointer. That's going to be too hard. Off the back of the iron. No good. Hall puts it up. That goes up and over. Rebound by Avery Ostream. Fleck with the triple. That's no good. Ergens can't handle the rebound. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Blue Jays. Here with 7.02 left. Coyotes are going to have to come up with some stops and go on a run here in the closing stretch here of this WDA play-in game. Up the court comes Addison Young for the Blue Jays. Picks up a high screen from Anderson. She'll pull it back out along the right-hand wing. Up on top, it'll go. Swing pass over to go to Newman in the corner. She's had the hot hand in the second half. Newman to the elbow. She's cut off by Hall. Looking for a post to get it off to. No one available. Throws one up and banks it in. So Newman in the paint threw up a circus shot off the board and in. Ten-point lead for Jamestown with six and a half left. Wilcock gets it into the corner to Ergens. Bounce pass up, just about a steal away by Young. Over to Milne. Milne with the triple. That's going to be off the back of the iron. No good. And it'll be Wilcox. Saves it from going into the hands of Ergens. Ergens looks to get through. Back to Wilcox. Just about to stolen away to Ergens again. Looking to go underneath. She'll go baseline drive. Bounce pass to Milne. Milne looking to step through up on top to Hall. Hall takes a step out to Ergens for a long-range two-pointer. That's going to be up and no good. Pulled down by Trumbauer. And Jamestown will slow things down up the court. Six minutes left to go here on the scoreboard at the John Cole Gymnasium in Williston. Alex Wilcox has a step back in. Here comes a drive by Young. Kicks out to Haley Addison, who knocks down another triple. And these Blue Jays are lighting it up from deep here in the game. Substitutions coming in for the Coyotes. Out of the game is going Avery Ostream. In is Alex Ostream. And Kendra Hall goes out with Mika Klumker coming back in. Now a 13-point game, 56-43. Coyotes coming up the court with Allison Wilcox. Over to Alex Ostream. Skip pass up to Wilcox. Thought about a three-pointer. Up on top to Ergens who will let one fly, and Ergens will knock down a three. Down to a 10-point lead for the Blue Jays. Ergens, full court press up against Young. See how much pressure Coach Fleck puts on. And there's going to be a big foul called on Ostream as she bowled over Mari Anderson. So Ostream will pick up the foul. That will be her second personal, fourth team on the Coyotes here in the second half. And Coach Fleck wants a timeout. He wants a 30-second variety. We'll take a short one as well. We'll be back for more Coyote action here in 30 seconds. What would life be like without telephones, internet, and digital cable? Let's not even go there. Dakota Central is proud to be the local company that provides you with these high-tech communication options. Whether it's the crystal clear telephone connection, the digital cable that produces over 150 channels, HD and DVR, or reliable high-speed internet, Dakota Central provides it all, serving Jamestown and Carrington and beyond. Call 952-1000, 652-3184, or see them on the web at dakotacentral.com. Mike and her back here for Coyote Basketball. The Blue Jays of Jamestown have knocked down 14 three-pointers so far in the game. Six for the Coyotes, so combined 20 triples made. And both these teams are shooting the lights out here this evening in Willison. Inbound pass goes to Anderson on the low post. She's going to be a Harrell. Gets it off to Young. Baseline drive. Gets a step underneath the Trumbauer. Throws one up. That's going to be off, north, off the mark. Alex Ostrin pulls down the ball. Coyotes looking to make a late push. Alex up on top. She'll get it off to Ergens. Ergens for a triple, and that'll be off the front. No good. Yunk came up with a twisted ankle, but she looks to be all right. She'll walk the ball back up the court. Being guarded once again by Ergens. High screen from Trumbauer coming. Yunk goes the other way. Coach Fleck wanting a carry. Young pulls it back out. Up on top of the perimeter to Haley Adelson. Had to range. Go get the ball back to Newman. She'll swing through. Baseline drive. There's going to be an offensive foul called on Newman. And Taking the charge was Mika Klumker. So Klumker doing the dirty work for Wilson, and she draws the charge and gets the turnover. Young's going to come out of the game. She'll get that ankle looked at a little bit, but she will likely not be out for very long. Mia Yulin checks back in. Wilcox pushes it up the court across the timeline. Under five minutes left. High screen by Ergens. Gets it over to Alex Ostream. Looking down low. No one home. She'll... Swing it over to Wilcox for three from the corner. No good. Pulled down by Haley Adelson. Adelson working up the court. Long pass to Newman. Newman on the far wing looking down low. Had Anderson wide open. Working up on top is going to be Eulen. 
Newman still with the ball, and it's going to be a miscommunication between Anderson and Newman. It'll go out of bounds. Back to the Coyotes here with 4.17 left. Kendra Hall coming into the game for Mika Klumker. And out of the game for the Blue Jays will be Haley Adelson. Back coming in is Hannah. Two Kyles set to check back in. Alex Ostrom swing pass to Milne. Tipped away by Newman, but Milne is going to let it roll out of bounds. And a couple of seconds ticked away off the clock as Milne let it roll down the court. Kyles now looking to inbound. Ergens and Alex Ostrom coming out of the game with Avery Ostrom and Mike, Mika, or Michael Fleck coming in. Fleck on top. She'll get it over to Milne. Milne takes a couple dribbles out to Fleck. She'll pick up a big screen. Fleck cut off. And it'll be up on top to Wilcox. Wilcox looking to drive on Eulen. Nothing there. Up back to Fleck. Looking to get it over to Milne. Milne with two on the shot clock for a triple. Long rebound's going to go to Trumbauer. She'll push it up the court for Jamestown. Under 340 left to go in this one. Still a 10-point game. Trumbauer gets it in the corner for Newman. She'll swing through up on top to Newman. Good closeout by Wilcox. Trumbauer catch and shoot from the wing. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by Anderson. Fresh 20 on the shot, or fresh 30 on the shot clock. Newman, high screen coming from Anderson. She'll drive down to the baseline, gets into the body of Hall. Good denial by Hall. Out to Anderson, up on top to Hannah Adelson. Into the corner to Trumbauer. Waiting. Blue Jays taking precious seconds off the clock. Anderson holding. Gets it out over to Eulen. Up on top now. Just about a steal from Milne. Trumbauer bobbles it. Out will go to Eulen. Heaves it up. Got it to go. Three more for Mia Eulen. And now back up to a 13-point game with under three minutes left to go. Up the court comes Fleck. Crosses over. Gets it over to Wilcox. Kyle needs buckets in a hurry. Back to Fleck. She heaves one up. That's going to be no good. Soft off the front of the rim to Newman. Newman looking to get free. Pushes it up the court. 240 and counting. 13-point game, 59-46 with the Blue Jays on top of the Coyotes. Anderson on the near wing, looking down low for Trumbauer. Nothing there. Hannah Anderson up on top. She's going to go off on the drive. Adelson gets it over to Anderson on the baseline. Up it'll go to Eulen. No, to Newman. Newman holding, waiting, puts it on the deck, and she's going to be hounded by Fleck. And it's going to be Newman with a nice drive to get to the hole and put it up and in. Not sure if... Fleck was trying to foul it, but now it'll be Wilcox pushing up the court. 208 left to go, and there's going to be a timeout call by Coach Fleck and the Coyotes. Going to wait to see if it's a long one or a short one. It'll be a full timeout. We'll be back for more Coyote basketball in 60 seconds. Otter Tail Power Company would like to remind you about the importance of high school athletics in the lives of children. Those extracurricular activities play a role in the education and development of those kids involved and provide a way for kids to learn some of life's most important lessons. Lessons that will take them through life with a sense of accomplishment and pride. Otter Tail Power Company would like to salute those athletes, coaches, and fans who make every season one to remember. Well, 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 could it happen for the Jamestown Blue Jays after the frustration of the season, after the frustration of their two losses to Williston, they have a big lead late in the game, a 10-point lead with about two minutes to play. It is Jamestown trying to make it to the WDA tournament. A win would put them against the top seed Minot on Thursday afternoon. Let's head back to Key 660 News Radio and Mike Rudy. For Coyote basketball, it's a 15-point Blue Jay lead, 61-46. Coyotes inbounding the ball. They get it in to Wilcox, up to Fleck. Fleck puts it on the deck, tries for a bullet pass underneath to Milne. It's going to be intercepted by Hannah Adelson. Over to Eulen, who gets it back up to Young, who's freshly checked back in the game. And there's going to be a quick foul on Fleck. Coyotes still have a couple left to give before they force some free throw shots. 155 left to go. Young came into that game at the timeout for Amelia Newman. Inbound play coming for the Blue Jays. Full court press being put on by the Coyotes. They get it into Adelson. Haley Adelson now up to Anderson. Anderson's going to be fouled by Kendra Hall. Five seconds ticked off the clock. As that was the last foul that the Coyotes had to give. Now with the next one, it'll be a one-and-one one coming for Jamestown. They get the ball into Young. Young could be, she's going to work her way around, not foul by Flick. Baseliner will go to Haley Adelson. 
Working away up on top, and there will be an Avery Ostream foul. Putting Haley Adelson to the stripe for a one and one with 142 left to go. That's the seventh team foul, second personal called on Ostream. Millie's going to come out of the game for the Coyotes. Back in is Riley Ergens. Haley Adelson at the line for the first half of the one and one. Adelson's first one. On the way, that one is going to be up and good. Makes it a 16-point game, 62-46. She'll have one more coming for the stripe. As now it is, Fleck will get way back down the court. Second of two on the way for Adelson. That one is up and good as well. Perfect two for two from the line. 17-point lead with 140 left to go. Wilcox screaming up the court for the Coyotes. He'll get it over to Ergens. Ergens looking forward to get it back to Fleck. Fleck gets it to Wilcox. Wilcox for a three from the far wing. Got her to go. Allison Wilcox. Coyotes aren't finished yet. Here comes Young racing around. Ergens is going to pick up the foul. So the Coyotes foul again. Trailing by 14, 63, 49, 124 left to go. And Coach Fleck and the Kyles are going to stretch this one out as long as they can. Ergens picks up her third personal. Milne set to check in, and she will come in. So there's looks like they're subbing back and forth for Ergens and Milne. At the line for a one and one is going to be Addison Young. Trying to stretch the lead back out to 16 points. First half of the one and one is going to be up and good. Up to a 15 point lead once again. 64 49. Buck 24 left to go. Young back at the stripe for her second of two. That one's on its way and that one is good as well. Four straight from the line for the Blue Jays. Up the court comes Wilcox. We're going to get it back in the corner for Fleck. Fleck will fire from the corner. Up and over everything. No good. Pulled down by Young. She's going to dribble away from Avery Ostream. And worked down into the corner. Flips it up. And the Kyles are going to be able to get the foul. But more precious seconds ticked away with 1.11 left to go. These free throws for Addison Young could be daggers here for the Coyotes. Young back to the stripe for two more... For another one and one, the last one and one that the Blue Jays will take in the game. First one on the way is going to be up and good. Young now has made three in a row from the line, five straight for the Blue Jays. Young back to the stripe for her second of two. That one on the way is going to be up and that'll roll in. Another two for two from the line for the Blue Jays. Their last six has come from the stripe. Up the court comes Fleck. She'll kick it into the corner to Aust or to. Wilcox, it'll slip through her hands and out of bounds with 105 left to go. Kyles with full court press. It'll be Adelson, gets it into Yunk, and Yunk's going to be fouled by Fleck. So they'll march back down the court here with a buck, oh, buck two left to go. If Yunk can knock both of these down, it'll push Jamestown out to a 20 point lead. Currently sitting at 18, matches their largest lead of the game. More Jamestown players getting ready to check in after this first of two. It is up and good. Young at the line for the double bonus. Coming into the game for the first time. For the Blue Jays is going to be number 20. Graceland Challen. Come in for Anderson and Ellingson in for Haley Adderson, Adelson. As Young knocks down her second of two. Six straight from the line for her. Fleck or Wilcox back at the court over to Fleck in the corner to Milne looking down low back up on top to Fleck she'll drive kicks it out to Hall Hall gets a step in front of the perimeter no good Avery Ostrom with the board up on top to Milne for another three on the way that one will go in three more for Elizabeth Milne 69 52 40 seconds left to go and that's a foul on Fleck so back they'll come down the court and this time it'll be Mia Ulan as Michael Fleck has fouled out of the game with 39 seconds left to go. Riley Ergens will be checking in for her. So at the line, Euland looking to add two more to the scoring total. And she'll put the first one in. Sensational free throw shooting down the stretch here for this Blue Jay team. Euland at the line for her second of two. On the way it goes. That one is in. So two for two from the stripe. 19-point lead with 40 seconds left to go. 
Ergens pushes up the court. She'll get a step inside the perimeter, bobble the ball. Got away with a double up on top. Milne again for a triple. That's off the mark. No good. Out of bounds. Off off Jamestown. And that is going to be an inbound play for the Kyles here with 29 seconds left to go. Coach Fleck is going to take a timeout. They want to set up something here for what may be the last possession of the season for the Coyotes. It's a full timeout. We'll take a full one as well. Back in one minute. You know you don't really want that hurry up, bought on the cheap, not sure what I got insurance coverage. Good, because Farmers Union Insurance Agents do things just a little different. We'll work with you personally for home, auto, business, or farm insurance and tailor the exact coverage plan you need because we're not satisfied until you are. Different, you bet. Farmers Union Insurance, simply different. Good luck to the Blue Jays and Jimmys from your local Farmers Union agent, Steve Benyon. Not all products underwritten by Farmers Union Insurance. You love sports. So do we. You know, the thrill of victory and the agony of injury. Hey, injuries happen. Thankfully, JRMC Orthopedics is ready to act fast. As the official sports medicine team for Blue Jay Athletics, athletes and their fans can choose the home team for their care. Call 952-4878 for quick injury attention. Home Team Sports Medicine. It's right here at JRMC. Michael back here for Kyle Basketball. Kyle's turned it over on the inbound play. It's going to go back out to Jamestown here with 25 seconds left to go. Jamestown gets across the timeline. Stolen away by Ergens. Here comes Ergens. And she'll stop at the low post. Out to Milne for a triple. Got it to go. Elizabeth Milne with a late three-pointer. 71-55. Inbound play goes to the Blue Jays. And it's going to be stolen away again. Milne gets it up on top to Wilcox. Underneath to Ostream. And it's going to go through Ostream's fingertips and out of bounds. With .9 seconds left to go. The Blue Jays are going to come away with the victory. Scores currently stand 71-55. Young gets it into Ewan, who will hold on and cover up. And the Blue Jays will advance to the WDA playoffs coming up next week. And that is the end of the season for the Coyotes. Take a peek at the score. We're first going to step away for a final one-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll have the post-game report, tell you all the scoring for both teams. We'll be back in one minute. Sign-on bonuses, $10,000 for full-time RNs or LPNs working PM or NOC shifts, and $10,000 for full-time NOC weekend package positions, and $5,000 for part-time PM shifts. Also offering $5,000 for full-time CNAs working PM shifts or weekend package, day PM or NOC shifts. Dietary positions available also. Apply at smphealth.org slash Ave Maria. Two Rivers Activity Center in Jamestown is now hiring. Track has openings for several part-time positions. Track offers a flexible schedule. We will work with you to make a schedule that fits your busy lifestyle. Track also offers a fun work atmosphere, and every employee of JPRD receives an employee pass, which provides free green fees at Hillcrest Golf Course. Complimentary open skate at the Winter Sports Building and free daily admission into Two Rivers Activity Center. Learn more about our open positions and apply online today at trackjamestown.com. Association. Mike back here for Coyote Basketball on 660 Keys News Radio and 1071. We are post game of the Jamestown victory, 71 55 over the Coyotes. Jamestown will advance into the WDA playoffs and they'll come up against a very, very tough team in Minot. Taking a look at the scoring, starting off with Jamestown, Mia Ulan led the way in scoring. She had 20 points including six three-pointers made and also hit a couple of late free throws for the Blue Jays. Haley Adelson had 16 points in the game with four three-pointers, a two-pointer, and hit two from the stripe. 15 points from Addison Young. She had two two two-pointers, a three-pointer, and hit eight free throws in the game. And 12 points from Amelia Newman. They hit two two two-pointers, two three-pointers, and two free throws for 12 points. Five points coming in from Hannah Adelson off a two and a three. Leah Trumbauer hit a three-pointer in the game to equal the 71-point score. Jamestown only hit six two-point field goals in the contest. They had 15 three-pointers, 
and went 14 out of 15 from the line in the game. So a big output for Jamestown to come away with the victory. Taking a look over at the Coyotes to see how they got things done here this afternoon. And their 55 points scored. Elizabeth Milne had 14 points in the game with three three-pointers, two two-pointers, and went one of two from the line. Mika Fleck had 10 points in the game. She had three three or three two-pointers, a three-pointer, and also hit a free throw. Nine points from Alex Ostream. She hit all three of those shots were from beyond the arc. Six po or seven points in from Riley Ergens, two twos and a three. Six points in from Avery Ostream with two two-pointers and two for two from the line. And Kendra Hall finished up with six points with three two-point field goals. And Allison Wilcox hit three points on one triple. Fifteen three-pointers came into the game from Jamestown, nine in from Williston. So combined 24 three-pointers here in this first contest. 19 and a half left to go before we get underway for the boys game. Uh, the Coyotes end their season here this evening in Williston and Jamestown advances on. We like to wish Jamestown the best of luck as they march into the postseason and they'll come up some against the best that the WDA has to offer. I want to thank all of our friends over in Jamestown for tuning in on 107.1. We're going to now kick it back to the studio for an eight-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll get you going for the Coyote Boys game coming up against Bismarck St. Mary's. We'll be back in nine minutes. The Frontier Fort invites you in for a true Dakota Territory dining experience. This unique location looks like an authentic 1800s fort. Head upstairs and you'll be greeted with the mouth-watering aroma of freshly grilled ribeyes and barbecued ribs. They're open from 4 to 9 Monday through Saturday, and their legendary prime rib is served on Fridays and Saturdays. Now hiring a full-time or part-time cook? Call 252-7492. The Frontier Fort, on the road to the Buffalo, Jamestown. At Unison Bank, we provide financial solutions for customers to meet their needs today and achieve their dreams tomorrow. From personal banking services like checking accounts, mortgage, and auto loans, to business banking services, at Unison Bank, we offer financial solutions with prompt responses and quality service. Visit unisonbank.com for more information. Located in Jamestown, Linton, and Wishick, as well as Gilbert, Arizona. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. It was inspired basketball from the Jamestown Blue Jays and a victory in Dickinson Tuesday wasn't enough to help them avoid playing in the play-in game. But after trailing by three at the half, after they take it a seven-point first half lead, big, big run early in the second half, big threes by Amelia Newman. And then she hit an important layup. Haley Adelson, a big three. Remember, it had been Hannah Adelson who would put the Blue Jays ahead for good with a three-pointer, and Jamestown makes their free throws down the stretch, ends up running away from Williston in the WDEA play-in game at John Cole Gymnasium, 71-55 to after losing earlier this month twice to the Coyotes. That's part of the reason they had to make the trip back to Williston to play in this game. Now they vanquish Williston, and indeed, as uh, Mike Ruder said, an awfully tough matchup awaits the Blue Jays on Tuesday afternoon in the Bismarck Events Center. The top-ranked Minot Majels, who just had a marvelous season. In fact, in WDA play, unbeaten, 16-0. and 0. That's what's next for the Blue Jays on Thursday. A season high in points for the Jays in this game. They had scored 70, you may recall, in that victory the first time over Dickinson at the Civic Center a little over a month ago. They had 69 in their second game of the season. That 69-59 win at West Fargo over the Packers that made them 2-0 and very early on. But 71 tonight, 20 for Mia Ulin, 16 for Haley Adelson, six threes for Mia after, of course, she could not play after feeling a little under the weather on Tuesday. 
Haley had four threes. Addie Young, 11 in the second half and hit the free throws down the stretch as she has done in uh, their WDA wins, which now count for three, but this one, the most important one. 71-55 over Williston at John Cole Gymnasium. The Blue Jays with the win improve to 6-16. Six and 16. Williston season ends at 3-19. and 19. Of course, last, the last couple of years have been so tough. They didn't win at all last year. The year before that, of course, they played only one varsity game before playing a JV schedule and still playing in the WDA tournament, but with their JV squad. So small steps for Williston, able to beat the Blue Jays twice. But Jamestown won today when it mattered most. So both Jamestown teams in the WDA tournament, and those will be our next uh, Blue Jay broadcast coming up on Thursday around 145 or so from the Bismarck Event Center for the Blue Jay girls and Minot. And then we'll join you from the Bismarck Event Center at around 6 o'clock on uh, Thursday evening when the Blue Jay boys, the seventh seed, take on the number two seed Bismarck. Today, the Blue Jays do it. A very big win. Don't forget, again, tomorrow it is Jamestown Jimmy's basketball. The regular season closes for Jamestown before both teams go on the road Wednesday for the GPAC tournament. It's Dakota Wesleyan tomorrow. Our coverage begins at 1.30. Sunday, Minnesota Twins baseball for the first time in 2024 here on 107.1. Spring training action from Florida. The Twins and the Red Sox at noon Sunday. Jimmy's in GPAC postseason basketball on Wednesday, certainly here on 107.1, maybe elsewhere too. We'll let you know when our coverage plans are finalized. And then WDA tournament action for both Jamestown teams on Thursday, girls 145 Thursday afternoon meeting Minot at the Bismarck Event Center. Boys action around six with Bismarck. Our great thanks again to Mike Ruder and uh, Keys, K E Y Z 660 News Radio in Williston for allowing us to bring you their broadcast tonight of what was a big late afternoon for the Blue Jays. I'm David Burrell. Jamestown has their second two game winning streak of the season and a mighty good time for it because the second in a row is the game that puts the Jays into the WDA tournament. Final score in the John Cole Jim in Williston in the WDA Girls Play-In. The Jamestown Blue Jays, 71. The Williston Coyotes, 55. Thanks for being with us. Have a great weekend. And good evening from the I3G Media Jamestown Broadcast Center. This is the voice of the Blue Jays. Jamestown Blue Jays basketball has been brought to you by Jamestown Regional Medical Center, Hillerud Construction, SMP Health Ave Maria, Gun and Real Sports, and Originals. And by Creative Energy Superstock, Dakota Central, Hugo's Family Marketplace, Otter Tail Power Company, Professional Eye Care, Frontier Port Grill, Unison Bank, Essentia Health, Farmers Union Insurance, Steve Benyon Agent. Jamestown Country Club, Apex Physical Therapy, Jamestown Parks and Recreation, and Johnny B's Brick House. The preceding has been a presentation of the voice of the Blue Jays, Jamestown 107.1.